Have you ever just wanted to say f*** it? Drop all your responsibilities, quit your job, stop working out, eat whatever you want. I'm at that point right now and I know I'm not alone. Don't lie to yourself. For the next 50 hours I'm gonna be living the unhealthiest lifestyle to let you know how I feel and if it was worth it. It's totally gonna be worth it. Why 50 hours and not 48? Well, I don't know, it's YouTube. But the first step is to get some snacky poos at the grocery store, of course. You know what they say, they as a nutritionist to shop the outskirts for your fruits and veggies. Well, here's what I have to say about that nutritionist. <laughs> Take me to the snack aisle and don't make me ask again. You've been wanting to be in my mouth for a long time, Jimmy. It's your lucky day. Hello, snacks. Daddy's home. According to this bag, I'm a family. Doritos are very low in nutrients, which just means you need to eat a lot of them to get your recommended daily allowance. How else am I supposed to not sleep? <laughs> I feel like I'm being judged right now. Looking at my cart right now, you'd be thinking I'm celebrating my birthday or I'm testing the limits of Canadian healthcare, but this is not uncommon. In fact, the top selling grocery items of 2022 don't look good. Fruits and vegetables in 19th and 20th spot, that's not good. And I just forgot cereal. Seatbelts on, kids. Okay, so stop number two. If you guys know me, you will know this goes against everything I believe in. Typically, I would just walk in and get some extra steps, but nothing quite works my calves like gently pressing the gas pedal. Do you have anything healthy? Healthy? I don't know. Okay, never mind. You know what? Let's just go with a dozen donuts. You can pick them, no pressure. And then can I also do a large coffee with two cream and two sugar? 270 calories. Will, are you suffering from insanity? No, guys, I'm enjoying every minute of it, but it's actually the most common way to have coffee. In fact, 65% of Americans have coffee every single day. On average, 3.1 cups. Now, do the math, because I'm not going to, but that is a lot of calories coming from coffee, like nearly a 1,000 for something that's on the side of your actual meal. Bruh. Hey, hey, hey Will, put me in your mouth. Thank you. We have five cake donuts here. I feel like the one Boston cream in the corner here is like a personal attack. Can that lady just tell me what I did wrong? A dozen donuts is a lot for one man, but they don't call me the nut guzzling goat for nothing. But let's see what we got here. Every single one's unfilled except for the Boston cream, which just means there's an opportunity for me to leave my own little personal touch. It's all downhill from here. The final piece of the puzzle, I got myself an Xbox. This brings me back to very unathletic couch potato times. Do mood swings count as exercise? Because this thing really gets me going. And it was very, very expensive. The guy was like, do you want another controller for you and your girlfriend? There's only one here. I'm like, no, and he's like, it's blue. I'm like, okay, yes, I'll get the blue one. So I also got a blue controller here, $80. Was it a waste of money? <laughs> I mean, is it Man cave complete, which is literally in the middle of my apartment. My girlfriend will be home in about an hour. We got the coffee, which is gross, by the way. We got our treats. I close the blinds because the sun sucks. And if I get an ounce of glare on the TV, I will rage quit. We're gonna do a little bit of Ben and Jerry's with the glazed donut. I completely forgot I was filming for a second. One thing my mom told me was, the greatest gift that you can give a child is love. But if you want time to yourself, get them an Xbox. I'm just kidding, she didn't say that. She was a great mom. But with that said, the average Xbox player plays two and a half hours a day. When you're sitting for so long, that drastically reduces your lifespan and increases medical problems. You're not burning any calories and this halo music is super, super loud right now. Talking over my talking points. Shut up. At first it was nostalgia, finally recalling my days of trick shots and no scope headshots. Before I got a girlfriend in those terms took a whole new meaning. But soon after the nostalgia faded, I quickly realized I was getting absolutely pwned by these toxic 12 year old kids. Oh, Jesus. The f Quick little intermission trail mix. Trail mix is healthy, right? <laughs> Mini Pop-Tart taste test. So cute. Mm-hmm. Such a stupid game. I was absolutely dialed in for the past three hours playing this game. I don't know if you can even tell by my eyes, but they're hurting. I feel lethargic. I could have a nap right now and wake up tomorrow. I finished the ice cream. I've been making some headway on the cream soda. I've nonchalantly had nearly seven donuts. I tried the cake donut to make sure I didn't like it. Still don't like it. I feel so gross. 
See how easy it is to eat the food while you're playing? You just get so distracted and there's just, all of a sudden you just delete 3000 calories. And I'm actually not even that full right now. So the plan is to order some food because I've pretty much just been snacking. Turns out Pizza Hut is closed. I don't know if that's God's way of saving me, but we're gonna do Papa John's because I've never had it before. It just opened up by my house. Right off the bat, I see epic pepperoni stuffed crust. Hell yes, we're doing that. We're gonna do medium because I don't want to overdo it. Oh, heads up. This has to be in a large. <laughs> Never mind, we're doing a large. Crust flavor. None or garlic parmesan cheese. <clears throat> garlic parmesan cheese. This option is not available. I'm getting bullied by Papa John right now. Who puts Alfredo sauce as the base of a pizza? Oh my God, that's gross. I love how just like the, the toppings rain onto the pizza. Watch, we're gonna add sausage now. You know what? Screw no veggies. We're just going straight up the manliest pizza that you can find. Let's go with a little bit of grilled chicken. Mm -hmm. Nice. Current relationship status, the pizza is late and I'm worried. John said 35 to 40 minutes, it's been 50 minutes. Where are you? I'm getting kind of worried. About the driver too, of course. But it's, it's 5.19 right now and my pizza is not here. In the meantime, I'm just gonna drop some facts about delivery. So 60% of Americans have delivery at least one time per week. 31% of America has it at least two or more times per week. A lot of carbs, a lot of fat, not a lot of protein. So if you get delivery often, just keep in mind what you're getting because that stuff can add up even if you only have it one time per week. Like this order I'm getting, it'll set you back if you have the whole thing. I have the smell of obesity on my breath. Are you kidding me? I was just lying here and I was like, it smells like meat. And I guess I did contactless delivery. What the heck? So it's been here this whole time. It smells like pure meat right now. It's, it's, it's kind of turning me on. I am getting severely out angled by Papa John's right now. We're gonna flip this around and hit it from its backside. That tastes like 100% organic regret and despair. The sausage just dominates your mouth, it's a dream. Honestly, at this point in my life, food could replace sex. I just need to install a mirror on top of my kitchen table. Let's do one of these pepperoni roll situations here. Tastes literally like the crust of this thing. I'm definitely gonna be on some Nona's hit list with this order. Look at the size of this thing, huge. I feel like it requires a certain kind of mind to see beauty in this, and I have it. I don't know if each bite is bringing me closer to God or simply restricting my blood flow through my arteries. I didn't even ask for this. Is this John's way of flirting with me? These things, they're small, but they pack huge calories. If you can, stay away from this. Go with hot sauce, go with zero calorie condiments because the condiments are what kill you. Rating on the stuffed crust and Papa John's, I'm gonna go with like a, an eight. Oh my God. Um, so I had half of the pizza, a few of these. I completely left that for now. Like our dating history reminds us, we've all put something in our body that we've later regretted. I'm gonna go have a quick power nap, recharge, and then Katie and I are going to somewhere that I haven't been to in a while, but I'm super excited. My head feels like it's being squished. I'm producing so much gas, I'm about to go airborne right now. But we are at Dave and Buster's, which is an arcade. Can't wait to bust in Dave. Katie is with me right now. <laughs> Ready to win some tickets? Yeah, let's bust let's go. Dave. These kids don't even know what's gonna hit them right now. I'm about to rinse them with their tickets. There's literally no windows in here. It's like a Vegas casino. Tonight's objective is to win that massive Charizard. 55,000 tickets, is that a lot? Yeah, I, I think I want it. I think that's me, like, I mean, the fact that she wants it is like all the motivation I need Aww. to win it. So let's just go, I'm a pretty gifted gamer. So we're gonna go and do our thing. Probably take me like an hour and that's gonna be all yours, baby. I'm always rewarded for my ball handling. High score is 255. I feel like this is rigged. Every losing person has. I got 22. It's out of my face. Edit that so you don't. Katie's final score? I'm getting up the Charizard. Have you ever heard of the movie 21? 
Well, if you haven't, that's what's been happening in this arcade right now. We were winning big. Eyeballs were all over us. I went from a fitness influencer to someone who just got a blister fishing for tuna too hard. The tickets were raining all over me like singles on a Saturday night. Every minute that goes by, that Charizard's looking more and more realistic. But if we want to solidify the deal, I need some liquid courage. It's pretty crazy how different alcohol affects me in different ways. If I have whiskey, I can play the banjo. If I have vodka, I'll fight anybody. If I have tequila, my, co my clothes just practically fall off, but that's what water does to me too. Surprisingly strong for a kid's arcade. Drinking alcohol is not that bad, but these drinks are the killer because there's mixers in it, like orange juice, grenadine, with a lot of sugar, a lot of calories, easy to over drink and have a lot of it. Stay away from these. This is the only button I can hit. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. so intentional as bullshit. Yeah, so we're not getting the Charizard? We're going to Dance Dance Revolution, an introvert's favorite game. This game always reminds me of how white I am. Doesn't it? Yeah, the basketball didn't remind you? about to go claim our prize. I think we have like, what, 30,000 tickets, would you say? Um, 1,184. That can't be right. We've been here for like two hours. We don't even have enough tickets for this. There you go. Yeah. I mean, it's not the Charizard, but it'll do, right? Yeah. Not even remotely close to winning the Charizard. I was in a terrible mood, so I thought, hey, let's turn up at McDonald's. It's a great way to, you know, eat your feelings late at night before giving your toilet a 4 a.m. wake-up call. You know, the right thing to do would be to get a salad, but going to McDonald's to get a salad is like going to go see a hooker for a hug. This is the face of a man that's going all in. I'm just hoping the ice cream machine is not broken like it usually is. I have a snack size Smarty McFlurry. Are you guys McFlurry fans or Blizzard fans? Comment down below. I love McFlurries all the way. And then a medium fry because you're supposed to give them a dip into the McFlurries. Damn, that is so good, the sweet and salty. It's amazing how fast. I went from feeling like I'm gonna have a heart attack after Papa John's to now having McDonald's at almost midnight. Crazy. Looking like a lost boy, sitting in a booth alone as Ronald kidnaps my beach body, the energy in the room is as if we're a country that just lost a long war. But on the bright side, the McFlurry was absolutely fire. It's dark outside, but I'm lit. If you're new to watching me, I apologize, I'm not usually this gross. After I got home from McDonald's, I had 50 shades of diarrhea, and now I'm treating my eyes to some blue light. The step count is at 4,136, well below the American average of 5,000, which is not a lot. So if you're struggling to lose weight, add a couple thousand steps a day, it makes a huge difference. The plan is to stay up until after 2 a.m. to test the theory of nothing good happens after 2 a.m. <laughs> we'll see about that. I will see you guys in the morning. Good morning, my unhealthy degenerates. I feel disgusting, lack any motivation to do anything. We are gonna change that today. We are definitely gonna change that because I have a to-do list. Yesterday was not a good day for my skin. And somehow I'm more malnourished than before despite like tripling my calories. So we're gonna take some supplements to combat that. So I got some strong greens and some strong reds. Cancels out one donut. Cancels out two donuts. It looks pretty gross, like some pond water. Oh, <laughs> Tastes good in the mouth, not the nose. So that is task one of many done for the day. On to task number two. Hi there, can I get a black please? Coffee? Yeah. Do you guys have a senior citizens discount? Uh, no. For some reason with how I feel right now, I thought I would have qualified for that. I'm also literally the only person in the drive-thru, which I don't know if that's a good sign or not. A breakfast baconator, that sounds like an American wet dream. Like what's next, a type two diet burger? You should not be allowed to serve something that obscene for your first meal of the day. Oh God. Oh, this looks actually fantastic. This is probably like the closest looking thing to an ad I have ever seen. 
I feel like at this point it's just like they're just doing it because we're not dying fast enough. I have been in a bad mood today and I don't know if it's like the Halo campaign frustration carrying over to the real world. I could practically make my own fries with the oil on my forehead. Oh! Holy shit, I would come back just for these. The seasoning on here is unreal. We're being productive so far. Two tasks done already. I mean, it's, it's noon, but off to a good start. Ever since Wendy's, I got home, I showered because I had to. And I started playing Halo 3 for a very, very, very long time. If I get a headshot right now, you have to subscribe. What the is that? Subscribe. Ended up having some leftover Papa John's pizza, had a cold, I prefer cold pizza over hot. And then I came in here and I just lay down and before I knew it, I've been here for a couple hours. My muscles feel numb and I feel kind of sad. I gotta do something active, so I'm gonna go swimming. I'm definitely gonna be crying into my pillow tonight instead of Kofi's. <laughs> trying to average a drink every other lap. Um, it's, it's a beautiful day. I think my biggest concern is getting too much vitamin D. I'm looking like a wet sea dog right now. So that was the swim. We have one thing left on our to-do list and that's a marathon. We're gonna run a marathon? Something like that. It is time to carb up for the marathon. Oh, you thought I was running a marathon? No, we're doing a Stranger Things 4 marathon. We have salmon tempura roll. It's like probably like, I think 700 calories in there. Look at this thing, look at the size of this thing. A green dragon roll. It's like a freaking schlong. I'd see this on like an X-rated Shrek parody or something like that, it's huge. Katie and I have a sushi problem. I'd it's say, bad. That's, yeah, I'd say we'd be addressing it, but we're, we're not. We've actually had sushi for the past three nights. Well, hold on. Mm. What I do is I take the sushi, I dip it in soy sauce, and then I add the fresh ginger on top, and then I eat it. Everybody in Japan cringed. I think you will love it here like me. I win. I think my it is day number three after the two day bender. Just got back from the gym and it was horrific. I was sweating more than ever. I don't even know if it was sweat or if it was oil. I smelt like a Baconator, it was just a bad situation. I was not ready for it. You may be wondering, you know, why did you make this video? What was the point of it? The point of it was to show people that unhealthy habits don't just affect how you look, but they affect your overall well-being, your mood, your happiness, your motivation, your drive. You only got one life to live, so make the most of it. So was it worth it? Well, I'm super excited to get back on my diet, so maybe it was worth it. The same time I felt like shit, so maybe it wasn't worth it. I'm not entirely sure, but I'm gonna wrap it up here. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to drop it a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next one.